Oh no, you've murdered Isaac. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not uh -oh. that it's any of your business. Oh, I don't need proof. I'm just need to attack you. Wrong answer. <laughs> Well, if we had not our supernova patch on, Ellie would be dead. <sighs> that ain't looking too good. And that will be the only action you see in this episode. Ooh. Damn. That actually almost got me killed. Ooh. None of you have actual loot on them. Hey, that ammo. Hey, look at that. Got them flamethrower. Oh, I just need good armor for a Neoka. But, uh, nothing. Nothing good. The bit. <sighs> Smoking. Puh. If I never smell another wrapped, it'll be too soon. Weren't you a sawbones? Figured you ought to have smelled worse. Sure, but those things reek like bad cologne. It's different. I'm with you there. At least humans have the courtesy to wait a while before their bodies start to stink. Most of them. I need to buy her armor. Do your part to support the local economy? Laws know we need it. What can I get you? What? If you don't see it, I don't got it. Don't go asking for the special reserve. What's the special reserve? What's that thing? 22. Puh, that's not good. How expensive is it? Oh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I can buy it. I will have that in no time. Oli oli toxic free. <laughs> oli oli toxic free. It's a truck for me. Okay, Nioka. Where is she? I don't like her armor. It just looks goofy. So, there. <laughs> is it? That's an MSE armor, right? I'm not confused here. Uh, ordinance control armor. It's, it's worse. It's worse. <laughs> but hey. Uh, it looks a little bit better. I'm gonna get here something good when I get it. Local economy? Shh. Look, all sales are final. I just wanna get rid of that. It, I don't like the look. I just don't like the look of it. I'm gonna... That is an MSE armor. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's kind of funny that I put an MSE armor onto her. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Hello. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries. Producers and purveyors of the finest Saltuna and Halcyon. What can I do for you today? Oh. What was that exchange about? You having money trouble? Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on rafted on acid. It must be expensive. 20 bottles worth adds up, that's for sure. You'd think Sebastian would give me a discount as much as I buy from him. He should give you three bags at least. Oh, I don't mind. I usually buy things one at a time. Gives me more chances to talk to him. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. 
I feel like he's just silent because there ain't much going on in his head. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Just ask him on a date. I couldn't. What if he says no? Hey, maybe you could ask him for me. I, I mean, a no would still be bad, but it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. What? I'm curious. What do you see, Sebastian? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Kind of like you, actually. Plus, uh, no. he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Damn. Good to have standards, I guess. I know what I'm looking for. It's just like me. I don't skip lower body exercises too. Silent water is what she's referring to. Silent waters run deep. Uh, nah, nah, I agree. He doesn't seem like a bad dude. You really want to be with someone you can't talk to? You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. Yeah, <laughs> that was a stupid question to ask. That's all I need to know. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Let's get her date. You grew up in Byzantium, right? Don't rub it in. <laughs> oh, don't get all prickly. I just haven't met someone who left the high life on purpose. I'm from there, but I'm not really from there, if you follow. Oh, okay. You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts? Sebastian, you ever get your hands on those pheromone sacks? Manipillers ain't gonna hunt themselves, you know. I must have hunted a dozen, but I couldn't find a single sack on any of them. You must be looking in the wrong place. <laughs> Manipillers ain't got pheromone sacks. I just told him that so he'd stop asking me for advice. At least I'm getting a good haul of claws in the process. You're in good hands, traveling with Monarch's top merc. Still, if you want any rat glands or manti claws, I've got you covered. Uh, let's talk about Celia. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days, but I've been meaning to ask her how that raptid on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. What the hell should that be working for? Would you consider going on a date with her? Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount. <laughs> Don't get oh. me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit. On account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. I got good news for you. You will be living off her money. She don't want a discount. She's attracted to you. Nah. -uh. A lot of people think I'm not too bright, but you're not fooling me. I know she can't get these goods anywhere else. Uh huh. <laughs> ah. You think she needs the stuff she buys? She just wants an excuse to talk to you, boy. Come on, that's crazy. No one would do that. Oh, <laughs> oh God, I actually need to bribe him. Oh, God. Why is lying so important in life? I don't, I don't want to lose money. It's too important for tinkering. Haven't you heard competitions moving into town? You don't think she'd look elsewhere? Maybe I should spend some extra time with her for uh, customer relations. Okay, I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. Yeah, all right. God damn it. Uh, when, the, when do the honesty option come in play and actually will be useful? Got them lying everywhere. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? He's stupid. He said, I'm gonna die with you. Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. I had to force him into it. Uh... 
Nah, I feel like he doesn't care. Ah, oh, he probably doesn't care. He likes Cecilia, just don't ask for any discounts. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back to work look. Anyhow, thank you. That's not that much. Thanks again for setting me up with Sebastian. Is there anything else I can help you with? You're gonna get another tongue from him. Krim asked me to check with you about his toast pasta. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. Oh God. But I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Oh, <sighs> Sonia. Well. New business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. I just realized Celia has the same hairstyle that I gave Ellie. I wish Ellie would have those hair, 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 also in pink. Oh god, dumb. I guess I'll wait till you're done with your meeting then. And a sense of humor too. Did you hear that, Celia? I heard it, sir. But I'm sure you didn't come here to trade witticisms, hmm? No, you're here for business. Uh, the adjutant sent me. The adjutant herself? Why? I knew the board would see reason eventually, but this... This! Sir, you've prepared for this. Right. Now, see here, you may tell your corporate masters that we will deign to rejoin them on the board, but only once certain conditions are met. <sighs> we've got stones for a guy in the most ignored settlement in Halcyon. Why, we've got the numbers on our side. What more could we need? Though I take it from your appealingly gruff demeanor and blunt charm that you're not actually here to welcome us back to the board. Or purchase salt tuna. Ah, oh, just so I can eat it. <laughs> oh god, that's a long one, but I need to read it anyways, because people want that. If I have to eat one more weird science project past office food in this spread fucked colony, I'm going to stab you all. Yes, that's it. Channel your anger. I only wish I could do the same. <laughs> I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. <sighs> what exactly are you hoping to accomplish? Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for 10 years now. So-called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. And now you don't have to play by their rules. Sounds like a deal to me. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Uh, and you're tired of scrunching and scraping by, is that it? Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Uh, uh, I need to play the board side. So what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Ingenious plan? Don't get me wrong, I'm starting to admire your sand, but I bet you could overcomplicate a sisty sandwich. What a charmingly roguish turn of phrase. 
allow me to express my thanks at your confidence and assure you that my plan is indeed sufficiently complicated. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Ah, enough preamble. What's the plan? It's a two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Fine, but how do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Ah, do you mean this Bolt 52? Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. I don't think this will fit in any of my guns. See, Celia? He gets it. I told you he would. So you did, sir. The world isn't changed with guns and speeches, much as Graham and his followers would like to think, but rather with meticulous documentation. Right. The pen really is mightier than the sword. How charmingly quaint. But this is an electronic form. No ink need be wasted. It's an expression, sir? Well, it really shouldn't be. Electronic <laughs> data is much easier to disseminate, but I digress. Yeah. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Can you say that slowly again? Have I mentioned that I work with the, uh, the uh, true tent? Did you? I have to check our meeting minutes. He did, sir. But that shouldn't be a problem. What Mr. Nandi means is that we have some rather momentous information to deliver to the board. Or we will, with your help. This had better be good. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Really? Most of the time they do illegal stuff out in the open. Cheaper that way. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. Ah, oh, Sanja, you sly dog. You really think so? Don't encourage him. <laughs> I admit, I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. God, I need just all three. Ellie, New Yorker, and Pavat in my squad. I need that quad. <sighs> that would be the perfect combination. Sounds like you know her well enough yourself. That's part of the problem. She has certain ambitions for Stellar Bay, and I fear my asking her would give her the leverage she's been looking for. Don't get yourself worked up, sir. It's perfectly natural to have a healthy fear of her. What? We really don't need to discuss this now, Celia. I don't fear her. I just fear pronouncing her name. So go to Fallbrook and get the locations of an illegal or corporate facility then. Once you uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. Mm -hmm. mm. If someone's operating here in secret, the student will want to know. Yes, perhaps you can use this for leverage of your own. Look at us, two corporate masterminds. Two sly dogs. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> no, Sanja. Right, uh, getting ahead of myself. Oh boy. Isaac Rose is dead. I found the people who killed him. It were necromorphs. But that's terrible. What happened? 3 XP. Oh, I've taken care of it because of that. But that means we won't be able to log their testimonies. 
If there's one thing I've been hoping to re-establish in Stellar Bay, it's proper documentation for legal matters. Sometimes you've got to take Murtochs into your hands. Celia, I do hope you're taking notes. I've got to remember some of these quips. Indeed, sir. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Mm, so much XP. Oh, God. I found your review on a terminal, terminal in the arms building. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. Your left kidney? Uh, one of the executives required a transplant. He's Oof. lucky they didn't want a liver or a heart. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. Damn, and it did not, did it? Apparently not. Whew. That's cold. Yeah, that's what you get for giving so much of yourself over to a corporation. Oh, perhaps they were right. After all, what have I built? Stellar Bay is barely keeping afloat. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Oh, take it easy. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Was there something else? God, this is just one long episode of talking to him. Oh, I'm looking for an information broker. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. God, how do we get there? You'd head south along the road and look for a mountain to the west. Not that I'd advise it. It's a terribly dangerous trek. But I see you've met Nioka. Anyone can get you there safely. It's her. He just wants me out of his bar. <laughs> oh, that's the only reason I asked him for that. I met uh, I met Grim, the landing port god. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Uh, uh, tell me about the good old days. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. Uh, oh. Ah, uh, what's the hazard, Klaus? Straight bullshit is what it is. A fabrication rich folks use to preserve their investments by leaving a lot of people here to die slow. Nyoka has the right of it. It's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. For the greater good. Allegedly. Allegedly. Ah. Uh... You sound skeptical. Monarch may be dangerous, but it's hardly the wasteland the board describes it to be. Whatever the board's goals, the greater good has little part in them. Uh... What can I do for you? I have enough. Free XP. Free XP. Okay. Okay. Where's tinkering? Tinkering, dear. Damn. Tinkering a hundred. That's the goal. Okay. Damn, that was so much talking. I got a helmet. 29. It's better. Does it look good? No. No, it does not look good. This helmet and armor just look too good next to each other. Okay. There he has. The heaviest of armor. Oh, 
on getting <laughs> all the embassy stuff. Oh, she's gonna hate me. What was Burning it like machine. being one of them top rungers? Hey, my parents and their gold shitting friends are top rungers, not me. <laughs> it wouldn't shock me if those fluffed up hull heads actually did pass gold. They've got pills for that. And that's not even the weirdest thing I've seen. It ain't? Well, now you've got my interest. <laughs> oh, I feel like it's the meanest thing ever to give her that armor. Huh. Oh. Um, okay, I need to do side quests. Mm, nope. Empty man, don't bite the sun, sweethearts. For Pavati. Damn, I need to take Pavati with me. Ah, another time. Mm. Catherine is in full brook. Full brook. Walmart. Family. Velma. This one. Braxton. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Braxton. Uh, uh, for real. No, I wanted to see you die. This will be your last goodbye. I need to drink stuff again. I'm pretty sure this map is to blame. Oh damn, that wasn't the right thing to do. I just consumed drugs. They're gonna have me arrested for that. He's dead. If you gotten stuck in an hour long rant about mostly colonists, you'd be thankful. He's dead. Turn around. <gasps> you startled me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? I'm looking for Braxton. Have you seen him? Braxton? I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you, sorry. Dilated pupils, anxious posture, muscle spasms. She's high on some quality stuff. No! Okay, maybe just a little. Braxton always has a good stash, and I just like to let loose a little. Stop thinking about the marauders and the raptodons outside, you know? So you do know Braxton, who is he now? Oh, damn. He told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick, and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there? I'll be straight with you. Folk who disappear in the wilderness generally aren't able to come back. Don't get your hopes up. And she keeps looking for drugs in here. Okay. Braxton. Where is his stash? It's this one. That's his stash, so I need to go in here. There's Chef Raymond. We're gonna get Parvati next. So we can talk to him. Like a raft among the rocks. <laughs> you Bisterstein. You are the rock. God, I hate when that stuff happens. Nice work, Captain. We don't steal. We would never do something like that. Whoa! I hate when they teleport. Oh, Tex Mace. Cigarettes. Put that gun away. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Damn it. Just jump. Damn. What the hell is my character up to? Details. Confidence. Huh.
Okay. <laughs> Fuck me. That wasn't good. That was not cool. Uh, I did not make the jump at all. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. What? Uh... Oh, I never use dodge. I do run away from time to time. Oh, that's a difficult one. Mm. Oh, no, no. I feel like running away is too important. I just dodged forward so I could make the jump. Damn it. Damn it. Elite job armor. Okay, let's put the armor off then. 50, I'm still missing 10 points. It's probably mind skills. So, what do we throw in so we make that work? Arm um, for body attributes. Mind attributes. Got some nimble fingers, Captain. There's some good stuff in there. <laughs> that did not hurt me at all. I am fine. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, we sexy. Ah, oh, there's no third person camera. From what I remember. Um, that's my armor. That's funny. Oh. 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 I need to take that helmet. It's not that bad looking. What's that? Plasma launcher. Why am I confused now? Okay. I ever tell you about this one patient? One that her eyebrows moved up and the tip of her nose raised. What? Why? Was she trying to disguise herself? Was she on the run or something? So she'd always be looking down on everyone. You are making that up. Making stuff up is work. This is real. Velma seen out of sorts too? She's always cranky. No, I mean... What the hell is this leading me right now? Did I run past the bar? So, Velma is in here. Caleb must be over there. So we need to get the free XP. But then Caleb is fucked. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. Uh, I'm gonna spell the beans. We need to talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Uh, <laughs> that's so sketchy. Almost threatening to replace you with sublight contractors. Nope. I'm calling her bluff. If she wants to threaten us, we'll see how she likes it when Sanjar finds out she gave sublight even more dominion in Stellar Bay. Oh, bad news. You don't have any savings you think you do. What? Something happened to our stashed bit cards? But I hid it so careful. No one saw me put the lockbox on my balcony. No one goes up there but me. We must be dealing with some sort of criminal mastermind. Well, if we can't afford to skip work, we ain't got no leverage. Space me, but good. I guess you ought to tell Velma we're coming back to work. Yeah, and by the way, it wasn't me. I just heard about it. 
<laughs> I just heard about it. Was not me, definitely not me, no. Nah. Wouldn't do that. I'm a good guy, I don't lie, I don't steal. Good guy here. Okay, well, ma. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. We spat in your spirits, Velma. You notice my mood? I'm surprised you can see straight today. <laughs> it could be seen triple and I'd still think you're being unkind. I just might find it funnier. Will you try wrangling half a ton of dead fish with decades-old equipment and see what it does for your disposition? Anyway, what do you folks need? Good news. I'm here to ask about... Let's talk... What? <laughs> Let's talk about Caleb first. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Ah, uh, Of Caleb Sunday to broke the strike. He's coming back to work. Funny how that works out. Thanks for your help. You've gotten me out of a tight spot here. Take this for your efforts. Honest work deserves honest pay. Yeah. Something else on your mind? Honest, she says. I'm here to ask about Grimm's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? I know who Nell is. You still have to post the right? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. Uh, you're just giving Grimm's post away. Didn't he pay for it? No. I paid Sublight for it. So it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grimm may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. Got it. That makes sense. Surely we can work something out. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Nope. Fine by me. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see if there's a solution here that is good for me. Just for me. Why the hell am I going into the bar again? Du, 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 du. What are the chances of all the times and places you could have been born? So I guess I could steal it. Which would be mean I don't steal and I don't lie. So I shouldn't do that. Or I could just intimidate, I believe. Here to catch a game? I'm afraid the transmission's still pretty bad. What can I do for you? Tell me about the poster. Signed by the black hole himself. There's no way I could pass that up. Why, did you want to see it? I don't have it yet. I'm waiting on a few customers to pay up before I can give Velma the bits. Ah, so she does not have the money. Could I trade you for it? I don't know. This isn't just some poster. It's a genuine tossball artifact. The black hole doesn't even sign things anymore. He just puts a stamp on them. Of course, the only reason I asked Velma about it in the first place was because those sublight fellas lost my shipment of official tossball jerseys. I was gonna line the walls with them. They're the new ones now with authentic game time aroma. <laughs> my favorite fragrance. I just wanted to pronounce that word because I knew it butcher it. Fragrance, my favorite fragrance. That's disgusting. I know. How could they lose something that valuable? Just unprofessional. Anyway, I guess they tried to take a shortcut around Amber Heights and ran into some trouble. Can't blame them for trying. Those iconoclasts never shut up. But they lost a bunch of cargo, including my jerseys. If you could get those for me, I might let Grimm have that poster. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Don't put yourself in danger on my account, though. That poster will be a fine substitute. Uh, you said you were having trouble receiving postball games. Graham's always filling the airwaves with this propaganda. Like it's done him any good. All it means is the tossball games get to us in fragments. Makes him real hard to watch. Okay. Ah. Guess we're gonna go with plan B.
God damn it, why am I always getting confused about this place? Run away. Where is the office? Upstairs, got it. I mean, it's not even locked. that what was the thing about eh. mesh random keys she got a hole in her wall oh. didn't think i would need knock pick that badly today okay mind attributes how'd you do that so fast huh there's some armor for Nyoka too. Damn, I wouldn't. I didn't need to spend money on your armor, Nico. Nyoka. Okay. 27, 15 snake. Inspiration. I even put that lockpick helmet on. Where is she? 22, 27. That doesn't look good on her. Ta. I hope Krim pays me. Ooh. Damn, that looks toxic. That bottle. Whatever it is. Then I can go to back to the ship. Download myself a Nyoka hair mod. And do some more talking. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Yeah, you're gonna have to pay me for it. Here it is. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Thank you. Free XP, free money. We're gonna get you some good armor, don't you worry. Like, not in here. 42. <laughs> That's not even that expensive. What do we have here? 63, damn. What's that? 67 down dodge stealth yeah we're buying it 42 wait a minute ah there selling stuff 21 12, 15 22 what do we have here away with that crap cool i don't like wearing that armor i mean <sighs> i should be smart enough to buy myself one too after all it's quite a difference 46 to 76 That's better. That's better, Ellie. That's better. Damn, I need to destroy that thing. And hopefully get something back like the Chrono Field Aggregator. It's business choice. Uh, we're pretty much done here. We've talked enough already. Right, team. And it looks actually pretty cool. Green shot. 
Also, this looks pretty cool too. I need to get it like that. I can turn the HUD off for this one. Just for this picture. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have some crew talks. Actually, nah. I'm just gonna take Parvati with me. And that's all I need. More Parvati in my life. How far am I into the episode? 45 minutes again. This was more than one hour of talking in Monarch. Definitely more than one hour. I want to see if everybody's on here. And then I guess I'm going to prep myself for some action. Really My silent. Sensors are picking up a rich array of hydrocarbons. Pretty solid in here. Hey, Cap. You got along with the crew? Well, yesterday, Ellie and I almost got to fighting. She turned to Mike Green when I cooked up a bit of wrap for dinner. I told her she ought to toughen up. She almost punched me. I like her. Reminds me of Rebecca. She's got a kind of spirit to her. The kind true freedom hasn't beaten down yet. Shit. Look at me dredging up bygone days. Forget I said anything. She tough, yeah. Nope. Not letting this one go. Who's Rebecca? Don't push it, Captain. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's not the answer I thought I would get. Hey, Cap. Who's Rebecca? Where's she? Okay. And you, Sam? Every Sam unit comes lean, mean, and ready to clean. Uh, you don't have much to say. Who's Rebecca Ali? Something on your mind? Who's Rebecca? What can you tell me about Byzantium? It's like one of those stuffy art gallery pieces. Looks okay from far off, but once you get close, you realize it's just some mismatched shit everyone's agreed to overpay for. Even the bribes are overpriced. I need to lay off the land. I really think I should know. Don't trust anyone. Don't touch anything. And whatever you do, don't show your teeth when you smile. Hmm. I never do that anyways. My teeth are just disgusting. Ah, uh, one more year or two. And then my wisdom tooth removal. Jaw widening operation that I get. OP operation. Yeah. And brackets. We're gonna fix that hopefully. Is this one of those established dominance things? What, like primals? Nah. People are extremely competitive about cosmetic dentistry. It can get ugly. Yeah. Why did you leave? The real question is why didn't I leave sooner? There's all these invisible rules and everyone spends all their energy just trying not to break them. It's cool. <laughs> It's called a society. Call it what you want. It sucks. I was a yeah. top tier surgeon, but I could hardly open a pack of gauze without 10 people signing off first. Ugh. That sounds like crazy shit. That would drive me crazy. Now you see why I left. People call Byzantium the jewel of Halcyon, but really, it's just paste. Everything's polished and bureaucracy. Take a close look and you'll see it's deader than anywhere else in the colony. Uh, That's what I've been saying. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, time to save. And uh, I actually want to look up Neoka hair mods on this episode. Did I save now? God, I need to turn my heart back on, otherwise it ain't telling me. Yes, that looks like me saving, saving, good. Save completed, quit. And let's see, let's see. Um, 
Give me a second. Give me a second. Screen recording. It is on. Day outer world mods. We have nothing new. Merp, merp, merp. I could just type in Yoka. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Then it's part of the all their yeah, companion appearance. So just <laughs> this one. I will not use this one. I feel like she was one person who didn't have good choices. Also, Parvati, look at that. How can you do that to Parvati? Images. Oh, where are the Nyoka hairstyles? Jump eight. Hmm. Nah. So. Oh, no. Oh no, nothing really looks good here. Oh, uh, that feeling here still looks like kind of cool. Well, he gone. Nothing looks good on her. Why is her hair green when I change it? Get that eSport crap out of my way. Uh, I guess now. Nope. A uh, mohawk maybe. Maybe a mohawk, medium wave, small dreads, eh. <laughs> New York, uh, just tent, two tent, god damn, I can't pronounce the word. Provati no goggles, it's too clean, too nice. <sighs> oh, be awful, that's not good if I take that. Ellie, no, no, no. No! <laughs> uh, oh god, I just... <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, everything on Pavati, everything different looks just weird. Uh, everything just looks weird. happy with the options here uh, I guess I'm gonna improvise I'm not happy uh, okay yeah yeah peace out peace out